What's up everybody, it's your boy Will Carter and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you guys are new here, we all welcome you to my channel. Before we go any further, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn that bell notification icon on so that you get alerted every time I make an upload. And if you guys wanna keep up with me off of YouTube, you can follow me on all my social media pages, Instagram and Twitter at I'm Will Carter. All links to my social medias will be listed in the description box down below. Last week, we announced my very first giveaway. It was a small giveaway, just a $25 little victory win. And we have a winner. So shout out to Black Pride Candles 42. Oh, that better be the number that's at the end of your like Instagram name. But you know who you are if you are watching this. Congratulations, you are the winner of the $25 giveaway. If you're not watching this, Girl, you should be. No, I'm just kidding. Keep an eye out for a DM directly from me so that you can claim your $25 prize. And if you guys didn't win and you participated, don't worry because there's gonna be a lot more giveaways. I have another milestone subscriber count that I am aiming for. And once I reach that milestone, which is really not that far away, I'll be doing another small little giveaway. And I think that's what I'm gonna be doing. Like every time I reach a subscriber milestone count, I'm like gonna do a little giveaway. So that's why I keep saying subscribe to my channel. So today we're going to be making a candle, but first I want to give you a little bit of feedback on the Soy 10 wax that I made a candle with last week. In comparison to the 464 Soy wax that I was using, the Soy 10 completely annihilated it. When I say that that Soy wax was that much better than the 464, I got seven pounds of that 464 left. If I can't figure out something to do with this bitch within the next like seven days, I'm throwing that bitch in the garbage. If you have not tried out the Soy 10, listen, get you some Soy 10 to try out. Just get like a pound, just to test it and see how you like it. I got mine from West Coast Canada Supply. Get yours from anywhere that has it. It's incredible. The hot throw was absolutely phenomenal. The hot throw was so good, I didn't even let my candle cure for a full seven days before I started testing the hot throw. And it was incredible after just four days. It was amazing. Another thing, the surface was so smooth. I honestly could not believe that I was working with soy wax because my experience with the 464 and trying to get a smooth surface, it was like, oh my gosh, just it was almost impossible. And everybody talking about like, oh, just use a heat gun, use a heat gun, bitch. I use a heat gun because I have a heat gun. Everybody, you selling your candles too? Do they, do they got heat guns? Are they gonna use a heat gun every time they burn their damn candles? Because that's what I'm really worried about. I'm worried about burning the candle and how it looks after the fact. But as I mentioned last week, the real wax that I was trying to get my hands on was Coconut 83, and I managed to finally get it in the mail. So I'm gonna make a candle with that one today. This here is the Coconut 83 um, wax that I got. I got a pound of it. I actually got two pounds. Um, I just put it all in one bag. Um, it came in a slab form. It didn't actually, it didn't come like this. I actually cut them up myself and put it in here because it was just easy to work with because it was such a disaster last week trying to cut that damn soy wax. So I actually cut them up in little, um, little cubes and put them all in one bag. I actually did the same thing for the, uh, the rest of the soy 10 that I had, I actually cut them up and put them in this little bag. So it's just easier to work with for me like this. And I probably will always do this anytime I get waxed in a slab form. I'm not going to be making a candle with 100% uh, coconut wax because I feel like we all know without actually having to know that the melting point with coconut wax is so low. You probably just never want to make a candle with just 100% coconut wax. You really need to do like a blend. And since I got a um, natural, 100% natural coconut wax, I'm gonna be blending it with the soy 10 i'm going to be doing a 70 30 blend i read that they like recommend you do like an 80 20 blend but because the soy 10 performed so well for me and i don't think i would even mind like producing candles with 100 percent soy 10 i want to just do like a 70 30 so that there's a little bit more soy 10 in there than what's recommended plus every time i do something that they recommend i never like the results also i feel like at this point everyone watching and subscribe has either like made candles themselves seen other youtubers make candles or has seen my previous videos where i've made candles so i don't want this to be a tutorial although i will walk through what's going on but i really want to take this time while i'm making this candle to discuss with you guys what is next for Will Carter and candle making? Because there are some things happening. Okay, so I have everything that I need right here in front of me, starting with my vessel. This is one of my tester vessels. It's 
when um, I make a vessel and I'm not 100% happy with the way it came out, it goes into the tester pile. So we're testing in this one. I have my uh, coconut 83, my soy 10, fragrance oil I'm going to be using, my little cup that I'm, ooh, why is she sizzling? Little mini pitcher, scale, thermometer, water in case it's not enough but i'm sure it's fine and also i want to show you guys this too i don't know how that's going to translate on camera but this is my little like um candle making guide that i use for particular candles basically just tells me everything that i need to do to make this candle from the type of wax i'm using to the amount to the um temperature i'm pouring the fragrance oil in my pour temperatures what fragrance oil that I'm using, what the percentage is going to be, what the actual weight of it, you know, based on the percentage and the type of wicks I'm using. Currently, for my wicks, I have it listed as wickless testing because I am testing um, for the waxes. So as I'm measuring out my coconut wax, see, this is the reason why I cut them up in these little blocks because it's just so much easier to like, you know, Get what i need so i wanted to talk a little bit about you know the last two months starting with the last two months the last two months has been all about my testing and learning candle making and just kind of figuring out what i think works for me what i like um what materials that i want to use and i've really used the last two months to really like decide on this because I knew for the last couple of months that I wanted to have my own candle um, business. I knew that I wanted to have my own business. And initially when I first decided that I wanted to, you know, dive into candle making, I was like, okay, you know what? I'm going to have a fall collection. This is probably back in like late May going into June. I'm like, I'm gonna have a fall collection. It's gonna be more than enough time. I just need to just do it because I'm looking on YouTube. I'm watching other videos of people doing it. And it's literally like, it's not that hard at all. Like, bitch, I can do it. Then I got the candle making kit where I made my first video on YouTube for candles and realized that it was not as easy or as simple as I thought it was. And then all of my plans changed. I'm like, okay, well, obviously I'm not going to be launching anything in the fall because your candles failed <laughs> from that candle making kit. And that's when I really did more research on it and started realizing that like, there are so many different types of waxes out there. I didn't even know that there were other types of wicks other than, other than the Eco Series. You know, I didn't really dive into what I wanted to do and is as far as like vessels go. You know, I had no idea about any of this stuff. And when I really went out and did the research, I'm telling you guys, like I learned so much. And then that's when I realized I need way more time. Like, so I gave myself two months to decide on like what my foundation is going to be for my formula. And like, I'm like approaching my deadline. Like September 3rd is the day that I'm supposed to be officially starting like production for my winter collection because that's when I want to launch and I am so happy and I finally feel like based off of this sheet that I've made candles with before I have figured out my formula so what does that mean what it means is that I am officially on track to begin production of my very own candle business I want to launch for the winter. I want to start with the winter 2021 collection. Not gonna announce a date, even though I do have a date in my head of when I want to launch. Um, but I definitely have given myself enough time to produce enough candles so that I have a good starting inventory. Not too much, not too little. And I've also given myself enough time to still be able to test and try different things because I still haven't decided on the different um, scents that I want for my collection. And I need time to be able to test those things out. This is the cleanest I've ever poured this. I'm actually really impressed. I have decided on a business name. I plan on registering my business here in New York. I plan on getting my website. I've already decided I'm gonna go straight to Shopify. I do not want to do the Etsy thing. Just no thanks. I need a mywebsite.com. Damn, she melted quick. 
so that's kind of like the direction I'm going to be going with my YouTube channel going forward is documenting like the entire process of um, launching my business. So I'm going to be documenting how I register my company, deciding on fragrances, how I'm gonna go about shipping and how I'm going to ship. I'm gonna be documenting the entire process. My YouTube channel is really kind of serving as like a diary for like my candle making. And you know, I've had other like businesses before that I actually still actually make some money off of, but like I never like registered any of those things as like a business. So it's just kind of like just me like doing like some freelance stuff and you know. But this is like gonna be something that I'm officially registering, which means so much than just like. So I got a red at 200, so I'm gonna pour here. Pour her in. Give my two minutes and start. Okay, so you know me and my two minute mixing. I'm gonna pour her in right after, you know, mixing. There's no cool down time because it would have cooled down while I was mixing. So I'm gonna pour, ooh, I need the glove. That's hot, oh, I'll be fine. And I'm not using a wick because I'm gonna wickless test this one still because I actually use a di different percentages in the other um, candle that I made with the coconut and soy wax. Because in the last candle that I did, I used a different percentage. I used a 50-50 blend with the first one that I did off camera using the coconut wax. And I decided like, you know what, let me make one with 70-30 because you know, the soy wax had 100%. She had her time to prove to me what she can do. Let's give the coconut wax a chance to prove to me and show me what she can do. Thank you so much for getting this far through the video and thank you for making that candle with me. I hope you guys are just as excited as I am for the next phase of my candle making journey, which is launching my business. I think I'm more excited for like documenting the process because you never know, like I might inspire someone who's been thinking about starting a candle business to actually start their business. Cause I know how intimidating it can be. I know how scary it is. Like in all the self doubts that we have about ourselves, we're just like, am I creative enough? Am I good enough? How am I gonna compete with people who've been doing this way longer than I have? And maybe by subscribing to me and watching me, you'll be like, well, fuck these other candle making hoes, bitch. Like I'm here, my candles are better than yours, hoe. No. Don't say that. Anyway, now that we have arrived here to the end of this video, do not forget, subscribe to my channel, hit that bell notification icon to turn her on, like this video, express your thoughts down in the comment section down below, and don't forget to check me out on my social media pages. They are linked in the description box down below. And with that all being said, I hope you guys have a beautiful good morning, a beautiful good afternoon, and a beautiful good night wherever you are in the world. Bye-bye, and I will see you on next week's video.